Psalms 34. Psalms 34, uh, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord. He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened. Their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. I want you to look at somebody like you're angry with them and say, what else should I do? <laughs> look at somebody like you love them and say, what else should I do? Yeah, what else? You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I like the Psalms. I, I'm not uh, much of an Old Testament preacher, but I, I love the Psalms. I'm very fascinated with the Psalms, and, and recently what I've done is I've tried to link the, the chronicler's presentation, the historicity of the, of the Psalm with the subjective expression of the psalmist. I've, I've sought to link the history or link the event that motivated or triggered the particular writing of the psalm. I thought it'd be interesting to understand the circumstances surrounding the creativity of the subjective mind uh, particularly because of the uniqueness of the experience and somehow it helped me to link between the way the psalmist thinks based on what the psalmist is going through. Uh, because oftentimes we, we, we see our friends and we see people in our churches and we just see people, period, who are going through some things that we know about. And from the outside, it seems as if they're handling it pretty well. It seems as if they're going through it pretty well. But, but we don't have the opportunity oftentimes to get their expression, to get their uh, verbal expression of how they're dealing with what we know is happening in their lives. So from the outside, we make assessments and we make judgments but we don't always have statements from them as to how they're really feeling about what it is they're facing. So I thought it would be interesting to connect the historicity or the event with the expression of the psalmist so that I could move from an objective appraisal to a subjective understanding based on what the psalmist is declaring. And so I found I like the Psalms. I like the Psalms because I get a chance to see how people feel going through certain circumstances. And I get a chance to see how they feel about the people they're dealing with. And I sort of, I like the Psalms because I thought that I was the only one who wanted my enemies destroyed. I, I, I mean, I, 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 because because the subculture called the church uh, has its rules and it 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 has its standards and sometimes uh, I don't feel the standard. I, you know, I know I'm supposed to love everybody, but uh, there are times when everybody is difficult to love and. Uh, and, and, and maybe uh, God has blessed me not to know everybody. Uh, and so when the psalmist says he wants something to happen to his enemies, uh, uh, I, I, I feel normal. And uh, 
And I feel as if, well, if he can get over it, then maybe I can too. And uh, uh, when he wants God to, to, to bless him and to bring him out of fearful situations, when he expresses his fear and he understands his troubles, and he's not like those of us who say don't claim it, but he, he, he recognizes and embraces the fact that he needs God in certain circumstances. Uh, I, I, I really relate to the Psalms. Uh, and I don't feel so bad because of the struggles I have. I, I feel as if, if God can bring uh, David out with all of his nuances and all of his problematic behavior, then certainly he can bring me out of mine. Uh, it might have a controversial starting, but, uh, but, but I struggle. And, and as he is struggling here with Abimelech, having gone into the Philistine country, and, and his, his, they, they know who he is, and yet still he's trying to hide in Philistine country. And uh, it's, uh, why? Because he's running from another enemy. He's running from Saul, and now he goes into another enemy's camp. It's, it, it, it's really interesting that, that uh, he's got an enemy within, and he's running from the enemy within, and he goes into the enemy without. And, and it's a horrible thing to have an enemy within. It's, uh, you know, oh uh, God, it's, it's that enemy within that is now forcing you to hide in the camp of the enemy without. You're exchanging one enemy for another enemy. And the enemy without already has the facts of David and Goliath. And he already knows that this David is nothing to play with. And so he is now whispering around and David picks it up. And David decides, well, maybe I better get out of here. And he faints being mad he starts foaming against the mouth and, and, and as I wondered I wondered why was he struggling with the protection of God why would he even have to go to an enemy without if he trusted God and then I found that you can serve God and struggle with trusting God you can uh, th there are circumstances that stretch you to your limit and uh, God and, and as I thought about that I, I, I took some inventory of myself and I found that in many things I struggle I, I, I struggle I, I, I struggle to be a better person I, I, I struggle just to do everything right I, I struggle to to, to say the right things at the right time because uh, how I'm feeling and what's coming out of my mouth don't always coincide. I, I, I struggle to be better. I, 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 struggle, I struggle to be on time. Just, just, to, uh, just to be on time because I said I was coming at 9 and I end up coming at 9.30 and, but I said 9 I, I struggle to, 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 to be better just to be a better human being especially when I see things about me that are ugly even to me and, uh, and I, 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 I struggle it would seem as filled with the Holy Ghost as I am and as anointed as I feel I am uh, that uh, I shouldn't be struggling to be better. I, I should just be better automatically. But I find that I struggle. I, I, I struggle. I, I really don't always want to do the right thing. Uh, sometimes I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. That's all. I just... Uh, but 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 I struggle. I I struggle to overcome personal weaknesses. Those those weaknesses that have been with you a long time. 
them, those things that you, you have tried to avoid and procrastinated dealing with, those things that you have sort of backed up and said, I'll fix it next year and uh, I'll get it right after a while. I, I, I struggle with that. I struggle uh, for putting things off that I need to deal with as it relates to me. I, I struggle. Uh, don't get nervous. I struggle. I'm going a, I'm to a struggle till I find your struggle this morning. I'm just going to keep uh, struggling till I find it. To, 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 to overcome weaknesses that you know are there, the, the things you think about and the things that you know you shouldn't think about. I struggle to turn the TV off or turn to another station when certain things come on that I know I don't need to be watching and yet still oh, oh the, the devil is a liar and yet still I but he lied but I didn't turn the knob I, 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 I struggle I don't know I don't know who am I talking to, but 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 I struggle. I, I, I struggle. I struggle. I, I struggle to rid myself not only of my personal weaknesses, but to to rid myself of self-destructive propensities. Uh, the things that I know that I would be ruined if uh, if I indulge in, and yet still they're calling me. Uh, I, I, I struggle when it becomes. I, I, I get away from some things that 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 I was dipped in because when I met the Lord I was not on a fence I was not in neutral territory I had already indulged in certain things and was dipped and triple dipped and quadro dipped in, in some things some some things I was immersed in and 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 I struggle even though I know that these things will destroy me if I thought when they said bishop that it would fix everything, but it, uh, the title didn't fix anything. It, uh, you know, I, I struggle because I know that some things will destroy me. Now, 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 they're my enemy, but but they're my enemies. Uh, but I've discovered that there are some enemies that are antagonistic, and some enemies, uh, you, they, they, they're awful they're obnoxious and you can you hate those enemies because uh, they they are boldly rude and uh, yeah but there's some enemies that you like and uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't have any problems with the enemies that are obnoxious, the enemies that are, are filthy in my sight. I don't have much trouble with the enemies that, uh, that, that are boldly destructive. But uh, what, what I have uh, problems with is, is, is overcoming what I enjoy, saying, saying no to what I want to say yes to, 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 to the thing that causes causes me pain to walk away uh, even though I know it's destructive and and yet still I struggle it, it would seem to me that I ought to be able just to walk away from it and just declare it under my feet but then I have to go to God with it because it has become a trouble but 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 I like this trouble it's like 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 quit some more it, it's it's like stop again it's you know it's 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 called, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one in here that's got to, to, to deal with this kind of stuff. But uh, uh, it, it's calling me, and sometimes I think uh, I've got away from it, and yet still it, it calls me. And, and, and there are moments when I know I have the victory, and there are other moments when I'm struggling to get the victory. And, and it's an awful thing that sometimes I get the victory after I've done it. It's, you know, and it, it's, it's like, 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 Lord, I, I Lord, I'll never do this again after I've done it. Lord, uh, what, what, what I need is for the Lord to show up before I do it. I, 
I, I, I struggle. I, I, I struggle. I, I struggle. I, I really do. I, I, I struggle with uh, the, the, to focus on purpose, just to, to stay focused on what God has called me to do, uh, uh, particularly in the drama of constant, uh, uh, might I say, distractions, just to, just, just to struggle to spend my life doing what I'm supposed to do and not get caught up in things that are time wasting just 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 to struggle to focus and 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 to get by people who are time wasters who who who, who want to get your time and keep your time to themselves and have nothing to do with your time but waste your time and and I know they're time wasters and yet still I, I struggle to keep them away to keep them out of my path because sometimes God is pulling them away from me and I'm going back to get them back you know uh, when God says the time is up for this person because if you're going to go into orbit there are certain rockets that have to fall off and you you you, you can't take all the rockets up with you and get into orbit and and I find myself praising God for getting me out but after I'm out for a little while I'm missing who I ought not to be missing and wondering what they're doing and trying to get them back when God, I, I struggle to walk away from people who God did not put in my life to stay. Uh, uh, oh God, I, I wish I'm talking to somebody here. Uh, I struggle. Oh God, I struggle. I struggle. I'm, uh, I'm six foot four and uh, I'm relatively good looking. I've got charisma, creativity, and persona. And, and, and I struggle. I struggle. I, I, I struggle, I struggle, I just, I struggle, really, I, I struggle, I, 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 I pass to some of the most beautiful uh, women in LA and I struggle, I struggle, uh, yes, I struggle, I, I struggle. I struggle, because fine did not stop being fine when I got the Holy Ghost. Amen. I have to fight. I have to fight not to pick up the phone when I have a number that I don't need to call. I, I, I fight not to call the number and I surely can't go out with who I don't need to call. And I, So I got to win with the phone because I ain't going to win if I go out. I, I, got to, I, I got to avoid going out so I can win. Uh, I wish somebody would understand me. I, I, I just struggle. I got, I got enough money. I got enough charisma. I, I'm a little articulate and so I have to struggle. I, I look and I have to rebuke because I, I look and I got to, oh, in the name of Jesus, Father, please, uh, not this time, God, whatever you do, Lord, break my legs, break my car, break my break, but, but this poor man cried. I, I, I struggle. God knows I do. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit in here. Uh, I, I struggle to assist others and, and I struggle to help them and uh, I, I struggle even more when they stop struggling when I start struggling to, to help them. I, I struggle to forget some things that I should forget and I struggle to remember some things that, uh, that, that I should remember. It's uh, the, the, the things I should remember I forget. The things I should forget uh, I remember it was like it was yesterday and uh, when you were good to me I forgot it quickly you you were evil to me and I still remember it uh, it took you a year or two to be kind to me and my thank you was 15 minutes and it was gone you slipped 
looked and said something to me you didn't plan to say and yet still I remember it 15 years later I mean uh, the thing you planned to do I forgot the thing you made a mistake doing I remember and 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 I want to treat you decently but I just struggled to forget the things that I ought to put under my feet I, I'm trying to forgive you but I struggle to forget what you've done and and I've got to deal with you every day and I don't want to feel the way I feel I don't want to go to the early service because you come to the second service I, I don't want to call to find out where you're going to be before I show up because it limits me I, I want to be free I, I, I want to be able to walk into your presence and not feel anything negative I, I don't want you to control how I feel because you showed up I, I want to be able to walk up to you say hello look you right in the face and walk away and that's why I said Lord you got to help me to forget uh, what I'm trying Trying to remember I don't want to struggle uh, I feel it here uh, I struggle to admit I struggle but I'm finding out that if I'm going to have deliverance I have to face and embrace my struggle I can't walk in here and act like I got it all together I've got to walk in here and declare I have a struggle but the reason I'm struggling is because I'm saved because before I was saved there was no Uh, I feel the Holy Spirit in this house. <laughs> it, is, it is this then, it's, it's the personal, it's the substratum then of everything else I want to talk about because this the struggle, particularly in this culture, uh, brings about with its stress and anxiety. There's, there's fear and there's tension. And technically these words have different meanings, but they are often used interchangeably. Uh, to describe one of the most prevailing characteristics of the 21st century and that is uh, uh, that we have anxiety we, we are tense and we have fear uh, not only is it from the outside but it's internal it's, it's, uh, it's that struggle to be all that you want to be plus to deal with the difficulties of what's going on around you uh, Rollo may cause anxiety and I quote one of the most urgent problems of our day and that is that all of us seem to carry around a level of anxiety some of us are on pills some of us self-medicate some of us are trying our best to find a way to ease the tension of our day uh, uh, one psychologist termed it as the official emotion of the age uh, the very basis of neurosis and the most pervasive psychological phenomenon of our time. It's just like uh, people are slipping on every corner. You, you, you say something to somebody and their reaction to you is just a little too much. I mean, I mean, what's the matter with you? Uh, you know, uh, I, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, please. Uh, uh, it seems as if we are, are sitting on the edge as if our minds are just very close to the precipice as if, if if you just blow the wrong way we would slip off the edge it's a, it seems to be that way everywhere you get on a plane and you sit beside someone who just seems to be edgy you you, you say hello and they don't even respond they, they they just look at you like you lost your mind you go to the 
the store. You, you, you teach children in school and the kids come in like they are neurotic and close to psychotic and, and the parents, everybody's upset around the dinner table, around the lunch table until people don't even eat together anymore because there's so much issues and so much stress and, and so much tension. Uh, the question is, well, hasn't anxiety been a part of the human existence from, from antiquity? And, uh, and my only answer is no, not like it is today. <laughs> because you're hurtling down the road at 80 miles an hour trying to figure out what sign and, and which direction to go and everybody around you is in the same mode and everybody's flying and you're trying to figure it out and before you know it, a uh, fear just came over you when you discovered I'm doing 80, don't know where to go, which way to go and, and juices begin to flow and immediately I'm anxious. Uh, one writer said anxiety might be defined as an inner feeling of apprehension, a sort of uneasiness, concern, worry or dread, which is accompanied by heightened physical arousal. Now all of a sudden, here comes the perspiration, here comes the sweat because my whole mindset is off. I'm anxious about everything. It's all right if I'm worried or anxious about something that rises and falls. If, if somebody swung in front of me at 60 miles an hour, I'm supposed to be a little bit upset. But when the danger is gone, I should come back to normal. I should, I, I, I should just come back down. And uh, but now I'm expecting the worst because so much has gone on in my life. I'm now forecasting trouble. I'm, I'm looking for trouble. Something terrible is going to happen. And uh, well, why is it? I don't know why. I just, I just feel it. I'm, I'm just feeling it is a heavy uh, do you feel it and, and and so fear now is one level uh, that has come as the basis of anxiety and and so my proper reaction to fear which is normal anxiety now is gone and now what I've got is chronic anxiety just walking around a bundle of anxious feelings can can I preach like I feel it can I just make it plain I, I need some help I need some help you see one of the things we do wrong give me about two or three people just just come go with me you know life is something and uh, and and we begin to pick up some stuff like like you know uh, I was heartbroken when I was young had to deal with abuse had to deal with betrayal now I want you to stay behind me now 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 if I don't get over these things and if I don't get through the fact that I lost my house and don't get over the fact that somebody broke my heart. I, I carry these things with me wherever I go. And they just stay with me because now I've internalized them and they're now a part of me. And, and, and when you meet me, just get behind me, we're good. When you meet me, all you see is my physical pulchritude. You, 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 you see my face. Uh, but what you don't see is all of the... Uh, the, the baggage that I have uh, behind me. You, you, I look good, of course I look good, and but you don't know I'm crazy because I'm uh, because I, I I dress real good, but uh, and and I know how to how to fake it, but 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 unless I cleanse myself of all of the stuff that has been picked up along the way, you don't know what you about to get into because when all of these monsters start showing up on either side of me oh my god what have I gotten into god bless you uh, this acute anxiety comes and 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 it comes quickly and intense and and sometimes you're you're, you're feeling like you're having a panic attack uh, I want to talk to some real people here uh, you feel like you're gonna lose it any any minute uh, and sometimes now you begin to have a disproportionate 
proportionate uh, objective danger and now you have moved from just the circumstances around you to what we call intra-psychic conflict uh, and then it is one thing to fight the demon on the outside it's uh, uh, one thing to fight the circumstance on the outside and, and not let it come inside uh, it, it's trouble if there's water in the boat there ain't no trouble as long as the water stays outside the boat but what we have allowed is the water to come inside the boat so you wake up in the morning and all of a sudden you're feeling something and you haven't even gone to the dinner table the breakfast table and yet still in the morning you're waking up with a heaviness oh god i feel it uh, you get in the car and you just anticipate something negative is about to happen uh, like job said the thing i feared the most has come upon me and so now i'm walking around looking for trouble because i'm feeling trouble and anticipating and expecting trouble until now folk are sick of seeing me coming because here i come with a complaint and here i come with a negative statement and 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 they just wish I wouldn't show up because everything around me is wrong and everybody around me is wrong and I criticize everything that's happening whether I have control over it or not uh, can I take it further it's war in the mind that is so intense it now cannot properly assess anything that is on the outward it is now that everything is distorted and and you suspect everything and everybody impressions are broken broken promises and destroyed expectations so now you're living in the past instead of projecting something wonderful for the future so now you're anxious about everything and here's what you say my life is a disaster it seems like everything around me has falling apart uh, can I preach like I feel it normal anxiety is a blessing but when you take it too far and it becomes acute anxiety and panic now you are destroying yourself anytime you compile your failures and you got a list of broken promises you've got a list of your unfaithful friends and your lying friends and your string of mistakes that you make you have now in intra-psychic conflict which means you're eating at your own mind and destroying yourself from the inside uh, I was six some years ago uh, 35 and uh, and the doctor said I had a heart attack and of course uh, he gave me a little heart attack book to read and all of that stuff and and man he surely convinced me and I'm sitting there feeling sorry for myself because I'm saying to God I can think about 50 other people who should be laying in this hospital uh, yeah I mean I only go to church from church or I'm in church Lord how, how can I be having a heart attack and I said and I said Lord um, yeah and I can find a hundred more if you want to know and finally I went to the doctor and I went to the the gym and the man said to me did they do a catheterization I said yes he said that's the Bible as to whether your heart is fine or not and I grabbed a little hope and so I found myself talking to Satan and I said to the devil you kill me if you can but I'm not going to sit here and kill myself uh, it, it's one thing for your enemy to be on the outside it's another thing for you to be your own biggest enemy uh, if I'm going
going to be broke tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy what I'm enjoying today. And if broke catch me tomorrow, well, it caught me tomorrow. But as far as today is concerned, I'm rich as I can be. Uh, if you're going to break my heart tomorrow, you're going to break it tomorrow. But I'm not going to sit here today and feel broken hearted over something that has not come. I just did a biopsy. If I got cancer, when I go, he'll have to tell me. But I'm not going to sit here and act like I got it before I hear it. I'm going to enjoy what I have today because sufficient to the day is the evil thereof. You don't need to bring yesterday's trouble into today. And you don't need to forecast tomorrow's trouble into today. If I get the victory over today, that's what I'm looking for from my God. Uh, I feel something pushing me now, Pat. Uh, have I told you touch your neighbor yet? It's coming. It's coming. Uh, you, you can't compile your failures until you decide you're a failure because I failed don't make me a failure oh God I'm struggling through my failures to the place of my victory and I refuse to let somebody socialize and develop my thinking that I am a failure the devil is a liar I've made some mistakes but I am not a failure because failing is an action and I refuse to personify failure. I've had some heartbreaks. I've come through some unfaithful friends and some folk who have betrayed me. But I've come to the conclusion that that was the price I had to pay to find out who the good people are. Oh, I'm going to have some church today. So I don't see rejection in light of what you call rejection. Because I see rejection as direction. If you reject me over here, and please hurry up and reject me. So I can find where I need to be. Oh, I feel something happening here. Oh, I feel like preaching here. Uh, give, give somebody a high five and say, neighbor, uh, I'm, you're not going to stop me from being good. Because uh, if I'm not good to you, I'm going to be good to somebody. Because you treat me like a dog ain't going to stop me from being good. Because I'm going to be good to somebody if it ain't to you. Uh, I feel something pushing me in this house. Oh God, I've had broken promises, but I'm not going to allow myself to see demons and monsters because the God I serve is too powerful. And now you're saying you're falling apart. And when you say you're falling apart, you literally aid and abet the process because you've internalized it and you've allowed people on the the outside of you to decide who you are. When I stepped close to Jesus, I met myself for the first time because when I identified with the Lord, I identified with a view of me that others never gave me. They wanted to control me with their limited thoughts and people try to control you with their points of view in order to keep you within the parameters of their own own hands but you've outgrown some folk oh yes you have yes you have you don't want to admit it but you have I love you but I've outgrown you I love you but I can't stay like that I got to move up because you're trying to keep me anxious about my past and you're bringing up all of my failures and my mistakes but I've graduated I've come through that to the next level and you're not going to keep bringing me down because you can't come up uh, and, and anybody pulling you down is already below you because you can't pull me down on 
unless you're under me and it's time for me to shake the dust off my feet so I can move into my future I refuse to be falling apart uh, can I preach like I feel it uh, there's, there's a shortening of attention span whenever this intra-psychic conflict begins to take over now you have a shortened attention span which means you can't stay focused long enough to get through the circumstance because of the noise that's on the inside because of the noise on the inside you can't discern the sounds on the outside because your attention span is now shortened because you pile up all of your failures now you're stopping at the green light and driving on the red light because you just can't find because your attention span is gone because you're arguing with yourself instead of staying fresh within your spirit and ridding yourself of all of the corrosion that comes from living this life and then now you make concentration difficult you can't concentrate you 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 read the scripture and you read it four times and then you went back over the same verse that you read four times because while you're reading JC Penney's on your mind and while you're reading Neiman Marcus comes up and the bills come up because your whole mind is flowing together in one piece because you can't separate and departmentalize your thoughts oh yeah now now your memory is affected because you can't remember anything because you can't focus on anything long enough to remember anything so the next thing comes now is it hinders your performance skills so now instead of performing to the maximum of your capacity and ability you're performing miniaturely because you got so much else that's blocking your ability then it interferes with your problem solving because you can't think the thing through enough to come to the right conclusion because you're overloading the circuits with worry anxiety tension and fear now it blocks your communicative skills because you can't articulate properly what's going on in your mind because your mind is so muddled so now instead of saying the right thing to get to the right solution you're mm, uh, oh, mm, 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 uh, I can't figure out what you're saying and how can I understand it if you don't understand it because now you are arousing panic and because of all of these factors when you should have been the one going through and fighting the enemy on the outside you're falling apart on the inside and that's what you predicted I feel like preaching here don't you ever verbalize that you are negative and you're a failure because somehow you make it happen yourself but when you rise in the morning you rise up with expectation that in spite of what I'm going through this is a day the Lord hath made uh, give somebody a high five say neighbor the devil didn't make this day the devil can't make a day the day is made by God and if God made a day then you're not going to mess up my day that God made for me uh, this is a day the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad can I take it a little further 
now not only is it psychic but now there's a physical side that comes because now you've got to deal with undesirable physical symptoms you end up with headaches you end up with migraines you end up with all kinds of negative physical things because all you do is worry all you do is fret and next thing you know I was studying something last night uh, as I was flying this way and I found out uh, that you bring isolation to yourself uh, and when there's estrangement uh, it kills you quicker uh, I found out that cancer grows quicker uh, when you are estranged uh, when your thoughts aren't right I found out uh, that you bring sickness on yourself uh, because you don't have the right kind of frame of mind uh, when you walk around always afraid and always tense and always negative you can't even enjoy your surroundings I heard the bishop say if you go through something and you ever get through hell then little things will make you feel all right uh, if you've been as much hell as I've been through then you don't need 12 roses all you need is a petal you give me a petal and I'll be happy why? Because I'll praise the Lord for a pedal. I feel like preaching now. I might as well have church. I came to have church. The man said all my fears. And what it means from the etymological root is to live among strangers. And when you live among strangers, you're nervous all the time. Because you don't know who you're around. I was in Paris a few years ago and didn't know the language language and it was difficult to navigate uh, among strangers and not know the language but language that you need to know is not the language of fear but the language we need to know is the language of praise because when I praise God I say God is stronger than my circumstance when I complain I say the devil is stronger than my God can I preach like I feel it. Praise elevates God. Complaining elevates Satan. And when I complain, I give power to the devil and make him feel like he's got the best of me. But I got news. Every time he hits me, I'll give God some glory. Every time he hits me, I'll lift up the name of my God. I might as well have church pad. I'm ready to go. And so now when he says to me, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, or yet for your body what ye shall put on, because the birds of the air, the lilies of the field, the fowls of the air, they take no thought, yet your heavenly father takes care of them. Do I have anybody in the this house that in this year of difficult times you can look back over your life and say in spite of what I've been through I'm still here I'm still lifting up the name of my God and victory shall be mine when he says be anxious for nothing but in everything give thanks in other words every opportunity that arises is an excuse to praise the name of the Lord and here's how Satan is defeated you brought it on me in order for me to bend over but I bent over all right but I didn't bend over in sadness I bent over in praise you brought it on me and I had to bless the Lord the word bless is Barak which means to kneel so you brought it on me and you brought my knees to the position I needed to be in so you meant it for evil 
but it came out power. Can I preach like I feel it? David was in the cave when he was running from Saul and he had gone into Abimelech and had to come back to the cave and when he said help me it went like this help 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 because the echo came back help 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 Bless, 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 bless. Uh, strengthen, 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 strengthen. Bring me out, 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 out. Uh, this poor man cried uh, and the Lord delivered him. Uh, it's just an excuse. Uh, I feel like lifting him up. Uh, give somebody a high five uh, for the third time uh, and say, neighbor, uh, it's just an excuse. Uh, for you to get in your prayer closet and call on the name of the Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Help, 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 help. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I feel like preaching in here. I feel like lifting him up. It's life to life. It's power to power. Because you brought me to a place with my back against the wall. And I finally learned something. That the devil's got me right where the Lord wants me to be. And that that is with my back up against the wall till I don't have anything else to do but lift up the name of the Lord they took my house but what else can I do but lift up the name of the Lord he walked out what else can I do I did all I could to keep him in the house but he left anyway so what else should I do but lift up the name of the Lord I gave them the best years of my life and they took my job anyway what else am I to do because I'm surely not gonna sit here and feel sorry for myself because there's too much of me to feel sorry for myself but I will bless the Lord at all all times I feel the Holy Ghost give somebody a high five say you still have faith and if you still have faith you still have a praise if you still have faith you still have power to let the enemy know it ain't over yet I don't have to wait till the battle is over but I I'm We'll bless the Lord at all times. I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all excuse me today, but I feel like giving him some glory for the things that he has done. And I'm willing to praise him for what he's getting ready to do because he showed me this is a season that is praise before Thanksgiving. Can I preach like I feel it? I got one foot and I call it praise because I praise him through the trial. I praise him through the heartache. I praise him through difficult times. I praise him while the market is bearish, but it'll soon be bullish. So I don't have to wait. I praise him. This is my praise leg and this is my Thanksgiving leg. So I only go from praise to thanksgiving praise thanksgiving praise thanks I feel the Holy Ghost I feel like I'm in church I will bless the Lord at all all times I feel like preaching I came to tell the devil you can mess with my house but you can't mess with my praise you can take my job but you can't take my praise 
You can take my loved one, but you can't take my praise. I will. It's not connected to how I feel. It's connected to my will. I will bless the Lord at all. Oh, oh, oh. I will, I will through the storm, I will through heartache, I will walk out, I will leave me out, I will step on me, I will walk on me, I will. Bless. I feel, come give me some help. I feel the Holy Ghost. Give somebody a high five. Say, I've been down, but I will. I've been hurt, but I will. I've been walked on, but I will. Every time I praise Him. He hits the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ha I will. I will. I will. I'm getting ready to close. I'm getting ready to close. Give your neighbor a high five. Say, neighbor, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Can I make it plain? Together. If I will bless the Lord at all times, and you gonna bless him sometime, we can't do it together. If I will bless him in heartache, bless him in sickness, bless him in pain, and you can only bless him when you got some money, we can't do it together. But if we're going to magnify him together through heartache, through pain, through money, through broke, through up, through down, through hurt, when we're happy, when we're sad, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us, let us. God bless you today. God bless you today. Give somebody a high five for the last time. Say, what else should I do? I ain't got no money. I might as well praise him. I ain't got no job. I might as well praise him. They stole, but I'm going to praise him because I was made for no other reason than to praise the name of my God. And I rose up to say, you got my praise. I do. I will bless the Lord. And all of the intrapsychic conflict stops. Because now that I praise him, I can focus again. Ooh. 
my concentration comes back. I can solve my problem. I'm closing. I used to jog when I was in Texas in Longview. There's a young man who was nine years younger than I. Uh, Dr. Michael Moss he is today. And we would jog late at night then because it was 90 degrees many days. In fact, I've gone out jogging at 12 midnight and it was 90 degrees. So to avoid the sun, we would jog at night. He's nine years younger than I am. And we'd go a three mile and a half mile one way course, turn around three and a half miles. Now, it's one thing to go around in circles for three and a half, for seven miles. Because what goes around comes around, you can always catch him. But when you're three and a half miles out and you're three and a half miles back in the darkness of the Texas night, you don't want to be left. And it was actually one mile from the turn from Birdsong from, to, onto Birdsong to my house. And it was a slight uphill grade. And I would increase the pace, even though I was dead tired. Because I didn't want him to know that I was on my last go around. And I'd hear him in the dark, why are you going so fast? And what he didn't know was, I was almost done. I just saved just a little. So I always kept him wondering. Your praise always keeps the devil wondering. I thought he should have been done by now, but I heard him giving God another praise. I thought she was wiped out by now, but I heard her lifting up the name of her God. Oh, I feel it in here. The most frustrated person in the world has to be Satan because of you. And to that person in here who felt like this was the worst year in your life, This was the best launching pad you'll ever have. Oh, I feel it. And if you can just maintain your faith and express it through your praise, you can never be defeated. Oh, I feel it. Yes, 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 yes. 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 The Hebrew boys, the Hebrew boys could not have lost if they died. They could not have lost if they died, they couldn't have lost. Only way they could have lost was if they bowed. Nebuchadnezzar was defeated if he killed them because he didn't set out to kill them, he set out to get them to bow. And I'm saying to you, no matter what's going on in America and what's happening in your life, if you won't bow, you can't be defeated.
God's calling somebody to salvation. If you're in this place and you've come here inadvertently, if you come, you just came because somebody invited you, but the Spirit of the Lord is drawing you to salvation. Come on. Come on. On this Thanksgiving day, we, we're moving expeditiously to get you out. But if you're here, come on. Come on. <laughs>